I love Spectrum of Hope. It's a great book. And one of the most impressive things, and I guess the basic premise of the book really is about the misperceptions about Alzheimer's and how people, that's really changed through the years. So talk about what the biggest misperception is and misunderstanding of Alzheimer's is. I think the single biggest misunderstanding is the thinking that it, all of Alzheimer's is a single disease, and it's absolutely not. It's a multitude of different illnesses. Uh, it's a spectrum, just like autism is a spectrum, and there are people with just mild forms of the illness. There are people with severe forms of Alzheimer's. There are people who progress rapidly, people who progress very slowly, and people who don't progress, who stay stable until the time they die. So that, I think, is very important. People don't realize it. When they get a diagnosis of Alzheimer's, everyone thinks of the worst case scenario. They're going to end up in a nursing home in a wheelchair, not being able to recognize themselves. And that does happen, but it happens to a very, very small percentage of patients with Alzheimer's. Yeah, you make the point that 95% like of the people actually stay very highly functional. That 95% of people don't even get a diagnosis. That, wow. pe that, it's right. that in an internist's office, most patients are not even diagnosed with mild Alzheimer's. So most people go through life without ever knowing that they're having problems or they think their problems are related to normal aging. So how would you know those people had Alzheimer's? If they never got diagnosed and they never had a symptom, right. how would they know? Because of, we've done population-based studies. Right. So we look at normal populations mm -hmm. and you see there are people in the population who have the symptom, who have the condition, but they don't even know that they are having very many problems. Okay, so in which case, is it really a problem? That's, that is a good question, and I think that it is a problem because we're all living much longer. We want to do more things in our life. We don't want to be put out to pasture. And we, some of us work into our 80s. I have a person who's 89 and he just changed law firms. And I said, why? He said, because I got tired of doing the kind of law I did and I interviewed for another law job and I got another one. So I think people are more vibrant as they get older. So anything you can do to protect your brain is important. Well, and I think the most important thing with what you're saying is it really offers a lot of hope to people. That again, Alzheimer's is not a death sentence. Alzheimer's is not a quit your life, as you said some, some people will tend to do, but there really is a world of life even after a diagnosis. That's absolutely true, Sarah, because I think that people are afraid to get a diagnosis because they're worried that it could be Alzheimer's, and therefore they wait till it's too late. And there are so many things that we can do now to prevent having a progression of the illness, including just small things like changing your lifestyle by changing um, you know, how you sleep, how you eat, and that can keep your brain healthy longer. So I think the stigmatizing of Alzheimer's really has to stop. All right. Yeah. Great point. And we'll get more into the details in other videos about, about uh, you know, the, the lifestyle changes and the food changes. Thanks. If you like what you just saw, come to our website. We have many more videos with Dr. Devi. You can buy her book too, The Spectrum of Hope. Here's mine. It's all dog-eared because there's so much important information in it about the, the new learning and understanding about Alzheimer's. And do me a favor. Do that social thing. Let other people know about these very important videos. Come to our website, bottomlineinc.com.